How much is an umbrella? $15. How much is a regular umbrella? How much? 12 bucks. You know, one time I was asking this to, to, at a virtual event. They said it's free. I just grabbed it from the restaurants outside. <laughs> I said, that's called stealing. <laughs> but that's a pretty damn good answer. I said, I never pay. I didn't know. <laughs> right? You know? So what? Five bucks? Ten bucks? Yes? Yeah, yeah. What, what is the function of an umbrella? Who could tell me? Keep you dry. That's the function of an umbrella, yes? How many, how many have an umbrella? Okay, so the function is to keep you dry when it's raining. There's a brand out there called Pasodi, right? It is a brand umbrella that I love, that I use. They cost anywhere from $300 to $800 per umbrella. You can see the quality. You can see how sturdy it is. Even it sounds good. <laughs> uh huh. It sounds high ticket, doesn't it? Okay. You can see. Now, here's the question Why would someone pay $300, $400, $500 for an umbrella when the function is the same? Status. Same reason you buy the purse, yes. Ego, yes. Ego appeal, right? Status, right? It makes you feel more powerful, right? But don't leave that in the front of the restaurant. That would be a bad idea. That would be a bad idea, right? That would be. Hold this for me. See the weight? Heavy. It's heavy. Good quality. Now, a regular umbrella. So let me ask you a question. You spend 10 bucks on an umbrella, you lose it, do you care? You spend 300 bucks on an umbrella, this umbrella will last years. Years. And that's one thing you have to understand. When people are buying quality, they're expecting something different. They take better care of it. And because I take better care of it, it lasts longer. So they don't buy things based on function. They're buying the future, they're buying status, they're buying ego appeal, they're buying different things. Can you see that you would sell to them differently, yes or no? Yeah, differently, just an umbrella. So we don't buy, buy, buy things based on function. So selling high tickets is not about working harder, it's not about changing what you sell, it's about changing who you sell to, and how you sell it. Write this down. It's about changing who you sell to and how you sell it. It's about changing your avatar. Are you selling to cheap clients? Are you selling to difficult clients? Are you selling to sophisticated clients? Are you selling to high ticket clients? It's who you sell to. You've already built a thriving business, but the question is, how do you scale fast without burning out? How do you transition out of the day-to-day -day operations so you can make more profits and have more time and freedom? The answer is not some magical software that makes your life easier, and it's not hoping you could outsource all these problems to some agencies. If you want to know the secrets of how the top 0.1% entrepreneurs create high-performing and self-managed teams, join us for our upcoming Smart Challenge. Click the link below to secure your seat today.